In this video I would like to show you how to create a wonderful waterfall chart that is very useful in instances where you need to show how you add different components to a total of something. For instance, let's start from the original uh, data I'm presenting you today. Let's assume you need to explain to your boss or to his or her boss uh, how you're going to achieve your budget of 60 million in 2013, for instance. So you know that you're going to get to that number by uh, adding together existing business, new customers, new products, international expansion. And each one of them adds uh, respectively 10, 2, 1, 3 to a total of 16. Uh, how do you show this in a meaningful, simple and effective way? You basically end up with this chart here. But to get there, you'll need to get to an intermediate chart that looks something like this. So as you can see there is the core information here in red and then some other bits in blue and uh, green Then you don't see in the final version of the chart. So what we need to do, we need to build those blue and green bits by adding to the original data. How do we do that? We create two extra sets of uh, numbers. One we will call that base, which is basically these numbers here in blue, and the other one we call it top. What the base does, basically it lifts, it holds the green at uh, the red portions of the graph when they need to float into space whereas the top is what pushes them down so if they can't get to the top yet there is the green bit to keep it down so the numbers that will be allocated here for instance existing business is the first column here and obviously has got no base because it starts from scratch so it will be a zero. The following one, so new customers, basically st uh, stands on the shoulders of existing business. So you jump from that to that. So it needs to have the value of existing business holding it here. So you put the base as 10, which is equal this number here. For the other ones, this one here, it will be the sum of 10 plus that particular number there, which is new customers, the actual number. So then you can put the new number for new products on top of the combined number. So in here, new product, the base of new products will be 12, which is the previous base plus the actual value of new customer and so on and so forth. And you can see that the last one, which is the budget, does not have a either a base or a top. So for the base, it will be zero. And then we'll start from the top. And the top, for instance, of existing business is the number that allows the zero plus 10 to get to the maximum number, which is 16. So it will be a six. Uh, when it comes to new customers, it will be the number that allows the base and then the actual, what we actually show, to get to 16. So it's 4, etc, etc. So then we get to this chart here, and then it's a case of modifying, sorry, just one step back, we got the numbers. So what we'll do, we just select them, and then we do insert, and then the chart, and we choose this one here the stacked column, 100% stacked column. In this way, this is what we achieve, which is what I was showing uh, earlier. Uh, we just move it to its own sheet, and here you go. We just delete the legend, and now it's a case of basically making it uh, look a bit different. So for starters, let's choose a different kind of settings, so something a bit more sophisticated, so we do like that. Then I want to change um, the color of the budget because the budget itself is a different concept from the rest on how you're going to get there. So I just want to right click, I'll show you, right click, sorry, click once, 
click twice so you select it by itself right click format data point and then you go to fill solid fill and you change the color and as you can see it shows you while you change it what it looks like so I choose that dark blue uh, then what we need to do is to select this range the blue range the base and then we go right click and what we're going to do we want to hide it and we do that by choosing no fill and by choosing no line for the border color so as you can see now there is no base same thing for the top choose click on the range the green range right click format data series fill no fill border color no line close there you go that is what it looks like uh, the actual the, the final uh, floating waterfall looks like you can do things like uh, clicking on it and right clicking it you can form a data series and the overlap so as you can see you can choose the gap width and by reducing it to zero they all go one next to each other it's up to you what you want to show it huh? personally don't like that too much so I'll bring it back up to call it 130 a bit less 90 that looks good to me so there you go that, that's how you change the distance between the, the different blocks then I want to change delete the that axis value doesn't really mean anything so I just delete it click on the um, the grid lines again doesn't really help so I just uh, delete them there you go I want to add make the uh, data labels a bit uh, the uh, description of the various blocks a bit bigger so I just to go to a bigger font and maybe in uh, bold there you go I want to add uh, the um, data label so click on it right click add data labels there you go but they're a bit small so I'll uh, make them bigger and I'll change the color to white just to make it a bit more stand out uh, you obviously can um, uh, modify as you wish and then there's one missing more very important missing bit which is the title so I'll go on to layout chart title and I choose the above chart one and here is where I click in it and I type budget uh, 2013 for instance and then in parentheses it's million of dollars click on it it's a bit small let's go back here let's make it bigger there you go and the last winner last thing I want to do is to make instead of white maybe a bit gray so I'll click on the whole uh, chart area format chart area solid fill and it gives me that color at the moment I choose a grayish gray silvery one same thing for the plot area format plot area solid fill choose the same one there you go so this is how to transform your original data where you show how you're gonna get to your budget for the year in a very very interesting chart that you can then put up on say uh, PowerPoint etc etc and it, it looks great it's really effective in how you want to communicate your message and it's something that I really encourage you to use uh, as often as is suitable for this kind of um, uh, application